Hello everyone, my name is Val and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited to introduce you to an awesome ESL game called Typhoon. The best part? You need zero preparation and it's perfect for all language levels. This game is super flexible and works for any class size and age. It's suitable for beginners, intermediate learners, and even advanced students. It's fantastic for reviewing vocabulary, practicing sentence construction, polishing general knowledge questions, and even sharpening your math skills while calculating points. It's an inclusive game that gets everyone involved. Are you ready to dive into the world of Typhoon and level up your language skills? Grab your friends, hit that like button, and let's explore the world of Typhoon together. Let's go! Here's how you play it. Form teams by dividing the class into smaller teams, consisting of two to five students each. If you have a larger class, you can utilize the rows of seats in your classroom to determine the teams. Step 2. Using a blackboard or whiteboard, draw a 4x4, 5x5 or 6x6 grid, depending on the number of students and the available time. In my case, it's a 5x5 grid. At the top of the grid, label the columns with the numbers 1 to 5, and on the left side, label the rows with the letters A to E. Step 3. Prepare a sheet of paper with the point values for each square on the grid, like this one. Or, if you like, you can use your phone as well. Keep this paper hidden from the student's view. In some of the squares, instead of numbers, place four, five, or six typhoon symbols. These symbols will indicate a negative outcome for the teams, such as losing a certain number of points for that round or having their accumulated points deducted. T means typhoon, and in my case, if a student picks a square with the letter T, their team loses 10 points, but you can set it any way you want. Make sure to assign point values that challenge your student's ability to work with numbers effectively. Step 4. Game rules. This game is now ready to be played. Begin by asking questions to review previously covered material in class. For example, you can use questions like, what's a thunderstorm? And expect the students to respond with, um, with complete sentences like, it's a storm with lightning and thunder. Uh, for lower levels, you can ask uh, simple questions like, what is this? It's an apple. What is that? It's a pear. When a student successfully answers a question, allow them to choose one square on the board by providing a clear reference, such as which square do you want to pick or which square do you want? And they should say, I want A2 or I pick A2. The team that selects a square will be awarded the corresponding points. However, if a team chooses a square with a typhoon symbol, they, for example, will lose 10 points or steal 10 points from another team. Here is an example. Let's play rock, paper, scissors to decide who goes first. Sam and John, do you want to have a go? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah! <laughs> Sam wins, so Sam goes first. Sam, here's your question. What is H2O? H2O is two letters and one number. It's a code. It's a passcode. It's a password. No, please think a bit harder. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. It's water. Water. Well done, well done. It is water. So, which square do you pick? I pick, I pick, I pick, I pick, I pick, 
Hmm, I pick A2. Hmm, A2 is 20 points. Well done. Team A, these 20 points are yours. Mm -hmm. John, now it's your turn. Here's your question. Um, how many sides does an octagon have? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Oh, eight sides. I know it. Eight. <laughs> Fantastic. Good job. Which square do you pick? Tell me. I pick, hmm, I pick B5. B5. Hmm. B5 is, let me see. B5 is 10 points. 10 points. Well done. Team B, you get 10 points. They're yours. Team A, Team A, Team A, it's your turn. Yes, Mary, here's your question. What absorbs the water from the soil? Hmm? Roots. Roots. The answer is roots. Perfect, perfect. Which square do you want? I want, hmm, I want C4. C4, that's what I want. C4, huh? C4, oh no. C4 is a typhoon. Oh no, you lose 10 points. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm sorry, Team A. You lose 10 points. Hmm. <laughs> team B, Team B, go ahead, it's your turn. Hmm, yes, Cindy, Cindy, please. Here's your question. Uh, what animal is big and gray and has a very long nose called a trunk? Hmm? Elephant, elephant! Correct, well done. Which square do you pick? I pick, I pick, I pick D3. D3, right? Well, let's take a look. Hmm, D3. D3 is 15 points. Good job, Team B. You get 15 points. Good. <laughs> Step 5. Calculating points. Once all the squares have been chosen, the students can practice their math skills by adding up the points they have earned. It's optional, of course. Encourage them to vocalize the calculations, saying things like 10 plus 20 plus 5 minus 10 equals mm, 25, I think. Yeah, I think it's 25. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel for more educational content. There is only one thing left to do before I say goodbye. Hit that like button. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it now. You did? Aww, thank you. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.